Welcome or welcome back beautiful souls to the channel. Today we're going to be going over what you need to know about this solar eclipse that's happening on April 9th, 2024 and how it will affect you three days before to a week before, three days to a week after as well. So we have a lot going on with this eclipse season and I'm really excited. Welcome to Lisbon, Lisboa. I am currently recording this in Lisbon. Tomorrow I head to the goddess retreat to hold some of you beautiful beings in space and healing and it's such an honor so um, i want to make sure that you know exactly how to navigate the energies because there's a lot of energy that will be moving through during this eclipse so i'll be going over the numerology meeting the energy update and also we're going to be pulling out some cards I'm trying this new thing of holding the mic because I don't know. You guys let me know. Do you notice the volume difference? Is there a shift? Is there a change of it? It feels nice holding it, <laughs> to be honest. But you guys let me know in the comments how you're feeling with it. Before we get into the video, it really helps the channel. If you like, subscribe, put notification bells, share it with a friend. Um, YouTube is doing this thing where it's not showing it to even our community, these videos. So, you know, it's interesting. The more we speak truth, the more we speak truth, right? So our voice is our biggest power. That's something I want to share with you. So what you can do is just make sure you stay connected and uh, add yourself on all the things, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, MailChimp. I know it sounds like a lot, but you know, at least you have a chance of seeing all the things, right? Um, so yeah, that's that. What else do I want to share with you guys? Goddess Retreat. I had a whole bunch of y'all <laughs> messaging me last minute wanting to come to the Goddess Retreat and clearly the spots has been filled and i'm not taking any more however we do have the divine dharma that's happening for light workers it's a retreat and training in june and i have a special announcement coming up um it's not anytime soon though for now but i have a lot of things to update you guys on so just stay in touch for that i do have my one-on-ones open for this summer i'm only taking two people i'm being picky why because this work is going to trigger you open you up shift your life so many ways and I want to make sure that you are creating space for yourself and you healing yourself, right? So if you're interested in that, you can apply down below. Trainings, courses, all the stuff's there. Okay, let's get into the solar eclipse. I always like, well, I'm like sharing all the things with you guys, but I also want to make sure you're staying connected too. So solar eclipse, guys, we're in eclipse season. It's no joke. Like it is no joke. The downloads, the dreams, the visions, the changes, the body purging, like all the things. How we doing? Let's just do a little comment down below. How you doing? <laughs> are we feeling good? Are we feeling tired? Are we feeling excited? What are we feeling right now? Let me know. And if you are an Aries and you have Aries in your chart, where does it place in your chart? How do you feel like this eclipse is affecting you? We've moved out of Pisces. We move into Aries. However, it's still the Pisces Saturn return energy right now. So a mm, little bit of a break for you, Pisces. But the first thing I want to talk about, and I wrote a little note because you guys know I'll have a lot to share with you, is clarity of how to solve the problems that are in your life, relationships and work. And I think this is the biggest thing. We had the lunar eclipse. If you haven't checked out that energy update, I will recommend it because they're so connected. So if you go watch that one, you're going to feel a lot of resonance with what's going on here as well. So one of the biggest things I'm noticing is with this solar eclipse, we have the energies of the sun and the moon. So we're getting a deep, deep clarity. We're seeing what needs to come into the light and we're seeing what's coming up in the surface from the darkness as well. So there's kind of this like day and night, life and death, new beginnings, endings, energy that's coming in. And what that means is that a lot of us have been held in the dark. You know, maybe your guides haven't been communicating with you too much. Maybe you're feeling like there's like, okay, I'm not getting a clear answer yet. And for some of you, you were probably frustrated the past few weeks. This solar eclipse in Aries on April 9th, 2024, about a week before to a week after is going to affect us because it's going to give you such a clear understanding, especially the shadow period of this eclipse, where you stand on the new beginnings and the relationship ships. This past lunar eclipse was all about cord cutting, cord clearing, understanding, 
what we have to let go in our life, doing some spring cleaning. And then we also had the spring new year that was happening on March 18th, 19th, just in time. Now, the reason why we have this is because we're in spring and with nature, spring is new beginnings. It's a new year for nature. All the animals are coming out from, you know, hibernation. One of the biggest things my teachers have told me is nature is our biggest teacher, right? And as we are with the moon, right? The moon is nature. And when we come with these little jolts of nature around us, which we are mammals, we're part of that nature that comes through and energetically the solar eclipse is teaching you what's coming out that has been worked on underneath the surface of your shadow. What are some things that need to come into the light now? This solar eclipse is giving you the clarity of where you stand and how to speak up on those things. It's making you understand that you're not in hiding anymore, that you can move out of this introvertive, integrative energy and into now we can get some stuff going and we can start doing the things, which is going to happen after the eclipse season. So you're going to get a list of things of just like, answers and some of them will relate to you in this now time and some of them will relate to you probably a few months or this summer and the reason why is because sometimes we don't know we have a problem until a new beginning starts right sometimes it was never a problem until something new comes into our life our energy expands you spent the last month or two purging energy to prepare for space for what you're calling in you, some of you don't even know what that is and what this moon is not asking us to exactly know, but rather to work with the law of attraction laws, which basically means what you are is what you attract and understanding that these problems that we have that are coming into our life and the solutions, because you've recognized what it's mirroring within you and your shadow, you're now getting the other half of that light of attra lo law of attraction where you're now getting a solution, right? And this is an opportunity for you to really say, I'm willing to be open to that solution, even if I might not fully understand it. So just making sure that you know that solar eclipse is all about solutions to new life, new beginning, moving out of that transitional period as we come to the end of the eclipse season, but also being prepared to live, to embody the new energy we are without those cords that were holding us down. And we give gratitude for those people. We give gratitude for that job. We give gratitude for that home. We give gratitude to whatever it is that we let go of in the past months. And now we say hello to the new beginning. So this is the energy solar eclipse is bringing, which brings me to the second thing you need to know about this Aries solar eclipse that's happening on April 9th, 2024, is that doing less while getting more done. <laughs> I love this. So one of the biggest things that really shifted for me is the more that I understood that it wasn't about how much I did or how much I studied for something as a little kid or how much I practiced for the interview. What really was understanding is not doing more, but doing the right things that aligned energetically. What this solar eclipse is telling you that you're not looking at the goal or where you want to go in the manifesting, rather you're looking at what is working for you and what is not working for you. And what is not working for you, we're not going to go back to that. We're going to say thank you and we're going to move into what is working for you. And when you start to do that, you find yourself not constantly drained energetically. So solar eclipse is reminding us to maintain our hygiene energetically and ask ourselves, how can we be more efficient? Where energy goes, it flows. Now that these cords aren't there, we don't want to regrow these cords. And I'm not saying this out of fear, I'm saying this to fear you, but it, it's more of like, I always tell people, there's no point of cord cutting or doing that, you know, the cords, if you're going to just go back and put it back in right? It's like looking at someone who's hoarding and has hoarding all over their house. They hoard everything. They never throw anything out. And then you do a ma massive cleanup. You see those like reality movies or shows, sorry, <laughs> where they clean up and then they're like, now this person is happy. Okay. But I want to know how that person is six months from now. You <laughs> See what I mean? So it's not about getting it perfectly clean and like having that one day. Okay. Yay. The full, I did the new moon, the full moon practice. Now it's done. It's about understanding that we take a little step forward into maintaining these hygienes energetically. So ask yourself, what are you going to do to keep your energy and protect your peace at all costs through every season of your being, whether you're purging energy, 
whether the moons are asking you to manifest, whether the moons are at bringing up something in the surface, the light, the darkness, whatever the theme was for you to be the extension of the collective energy rebalancing as a whole. Because some of us, it's going to be going into that dark feminine and stepping into the emotions we don't want to see. And some of us is to celebrate more of the emotions that we are meant to experience and we feel shameful to feel right so regardless of the spectrum of many things that we can talk about but the main thing that the solar eclipse is telling us is that doing less is not wrong that you don't have to work hard and the working hard part of that our ancestors have created in themselves whether that was because they went through war zones whether it was because they went through hardship this generation right now if you are older than a teenager, you are in your teens, late teens and higher, you are here to let go of the traumas of all souls and spirits and all ancestors before you and within yourself. If you are any age that is about five, six years old or below and onwards that are coming in, you're here to be the change. You're here to live the change that the current generation is doing. So the reason why I'm sharing this and this is coming up is because when we start to accept and receive that we can just go in and it can be that easy to let go of the things that no longer serve us, it provides us from feeling like we're not actually doing the work because we're accepting that this is just part of life, right? There's no expectation to be always happy, to be always sad, to be always healing, to be always, it's just we've accepted radically intuitively fully that this solar eclipse is teaching us that when we start to accept the life that we came here to experience and all that is life it doesn't feel like work it feels like a lifestyle it feels like a ceremony it feels at peace so instead of fighting against all the things that we need to feel and instead of maintaining our energies and knowing that we have the power and choice to say no to certain things that we don't want to continue to maintain and hold, then we start to open ourselves up to many possibilities and many things that can come to us, which is why this solar eclipse in Aries is bringing fire into our passions, is bringing fire into the new beginnings, is igniting all these things and making it happen really quickly in the shadow period of the solar eclipse, which is after the solar eclipse of the ninth, which another thing to share of what you need to know about the solar eclipse is do not sign contracts at this time. The reason why I'm saying this is because this fiery energy is going to make you feel like you're on top of the world, which is great. But what happens when we're like so much and our ego is like, oh yeah, we got this. We end up being in a space where we just want to make the decisions now. We're impatient. We want to do it now, 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 now. The fire energy is testing your patience. And again, still being the archetype of the turtle right? Still being the energy of the snail, still being the energy of the worm where it's like they're slow, but they're still doing a lot <laughs> for nature. So again, these totems are teaching us, nature itself is teaching us that instead of rushing because you feel scarcity, which hello, remember, this is the year of eight, 2024 adds eight, right? So we're getting a lot of tests about understanding we are eternal, abundant beings, and all that is around us is eternal and abundant as well, right? So this test is understanding that we know that these contracts, if aligned, when aligned, that they are going to be there and they're always going to be there when needed, right? And if it feels aligned, they can wait. I remember back in the day when I started doing space holding and everything, I would rush when I first, first, first started years ago, I would rush to respond to people. And now I'm just like, I'm going to respond to you. Like, okay, like, there's no need for me to rush you. Oh my God, but what if the client leaves? Oh my God, what if I... Oh my God. It was such a scarce mindset. That was such a like... That was such a mindset where... And also it's reflecting on me too, right? And the client. So I needed to understand the same thing with my family. Oh no, I got to respond because if I don't, then that person's going to call me 10 times. Like I'm manifesting that into my reality and my energies, right? And that's just making me feel worried and drained and heavy and exhausted. So again, there's no rush with contracts at this time. Don't sign anything, you know, like just be like, Hey, like, can we, can we do it? Maybe three days after, maybe a week after. Great. Awesome. Then the energies will settle and then you will be in a neutral space where you can make a decision, have have confrontational conversations if need may be where you feel balanced and you don't feel like you're fired and charged so remember 
you're gonna be a little bit charged during this time just be mindful of that why is it charging in your body what is it teaching us to step into and teaching us what to look at and another thing is rebalancing the mind so as we move into aries energy for this eclipse aries is all about fiery it's about understanding the mind the upper two chakras so it works with crown third and solar plexus so if any of you are feeling that during this area season there may be something that you're clearing understanding or is coming up in the surface because remember solar eclipse is the balance of darkness and light the balance of us looking at both sides of that so this is a time where we're releasing worry we're releasing um, slight headaches and migraines pressure in the mind um, we're releasing and purging so ask yourself these two shadow work prompts what am i purging what is a new practice that I can support me in my mind? And for me to be in a space where I'm not constantly thinking I have to get things done, because one thing my sister said that never ever left me was that there was always going to be things to do, but when are you going to accept that? And it just hit me. There's always going to be things to do. So you getting your list done today and adding four more things at the end of the day doesn't mean that you're less accomplished, doesn't mean that you didn't get things done. It just means that this is life and there's always going to be things to do. But what part of you is going to accept that you're never going to be fully finished everything? Nothing's going to be perfect. Nothing's going to be that perfectionism aspect. The perfection is that nothing does get done all the time. But the right things at the right divine timing getting done, that's a other thing. Responding when spirit gives you a green light, that's another thing. You know, having something that is an urgency because it's calling you to to state where you are in your energy, where in your being is urgent and there's urgency and to look at that before responding. So a lot is being cleared in the mind. This is a great time to really, you know, tune into if, if there are headaches, you know, giving yourself maybe a pulse massage. I use my gusha, which is a beautiful face massage. And I get into the jawline and just really massage those areas helps with any tension in the mind. The next thing is the sun and the moon. I want to talk about this because essentially the solar eclipse is the overlap of the moon and the sun together. And you can see it depending on where you are and where you live. Um, but one of the things I will talk about is the sun and the moon overlapping together. And what is the sun? The sun is here to charge us and dissolve energy and to give us prana, which is life force energy. So think of sun as life, okay? What is the moon? The moon is here specifically with this new moon in Aries, which is also the solar eclipse, is bringing us what is in the darkness that needs to come and rise at the top of our being of our consciousness from subconscious to consciousness for us to help us make decisions that's what the solar eclipse in aries is all about so how can you make these decisions in divine timing in alignment of your being how can you tune into what decisions need to be made where are you bypassing certain things that need to come up from the surface this is what the moon's job is here for you so a great practice to do is three days to a week before three days to a week after is to sun gaze when the sun is going down and the sun is rising and what this does is it actually gives you prana what's just prana prana is food which is energy it's life force energy which is why breatharians and people who fast one of the biggest things that they do is sun gazing that really helps them understand that our body and that idea that we need to eat six times a day or three times a day is something that's conditioned and based on you know the western medicine which is you know it's not something our ancestors did ancestors would hunt for food we would eat that food we would understand that that was a meal that we went and looked for and we grew and we would go with the seasons but we became in the shift where we became so disconnected with nature where we actually demand from nature to give us the food we demand from nature to give us the the vegetables and the candy and all the things that we process and we manipulate and i can go off on a tangent but really what it's teaching us is the duality of what in our being do we have to look at that's in the light and what in our being do we have to look at that is in the darkness and to really reconnect with nature once again in a deeper way and to recharge with nature to connect with nature and this is why with my earth dharma training program which is to teach lightworkers to step into abundance and expansion it's currently closed but if you're interested in maybe applying in the future you can stay connected here add yourself to the email list it's a beautiful one you're training to teach healers and space holders to work with the elements nature is one of the biggest teachers nature is why we're here so when we disconnect from that moon prana energy and it gets manipulated right 
for the intention of to feed more people where it's out of our heart but into the mind that's where we find ourselves with diseases and other things and the moon the darkness right and this is a big thing that's happening on the collective everything is coming to the surface so that's going to charge you into where is some things in your being that need to come into the surface the truth is the biggest thing with this aries fiery energy it's bringing up truth for you to finally make the decisions that your spirit needs to take those next leaps into the expansion into the advancements that you came to here to rise and work through remember once again that this is 2024 this is abundance year it's eight infinite abundance eternal being you are the souls that are transitioning knowing that they are still eternal knowing that we are abundant we can create the money the life that we want knowing that there are certain financial systems and institutions and abundance institutions and systems that no longer serve us and they will die but then a new ones will come in and new ones will be created by the people by the collective and that's going to help us expand and see a new way of living which is going to be amazing so it's an exciting time to live. Can I just say that I'm so excited to be living this lifetime with you guys because we are at a time where we get to create the reality. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be a lot of darkness coming up with that. And when I mean dark, it's always been there. It's just now we can see it. And with that, it's going to call us, what kind of life do we want to live? We want to live the life of nature. We want to live the life where we get to choose that freedom, that radical freedom, which honestly you still have now. There's no difference. It's just now you're understanding that you were already free this whole time. <laughs> so let me just leave it at that with this point. The last uh, thing you need to know about the solar eclipse is happening in Aries, April 9th, 2024, three days to a week before, three days to a week after, is that spring. We recently had on the 19th, 18th, which is considered the spring in astrology, the year of spring, right? And the day of spring. And why we say that? Again, it goes to nature. And one of the biggest things I'm going to share with you is this is a time where nature springs into life, right? So anything that was or did go back to the earth is coming back up and they're coming up to teach us so much. So with that, for us to create the new, we need to make decisions of what we're letting go in the old. And we've done that that last month, that last March that we've done. It was a lot of purging of that. But now it's up to you to make the decisions of what you call in and to speak it loudly, confidently, and believing into that. Because when you can do that, that assures that energy and it's already so. One of the biggest things that has shifted for me now is when I manifest, I just know what happens. Like I don't even have to think about it. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to have an amazing lunch today. I'm going to go to a beautiful cafe. So it is. So it is. Start saying so it is for everything that you affirm to yourself. You're going to notice a big energetic shift for you because no part of your being, if there is a part of your being, is going to come and purge up at the surface and say, hey, no, and you're going to say to the mind, so it is. Why isn't it? I'm alive, aren't I? I'm breathing, aren't I? I'm living this life, aren't I? I'm experiencing X, Y, Z, aren't I? So it is. Anything that you want to be and embody, it is and so it is because you said so. And it's that easy. Now, one of the biggest things people forget is when we ask, so it is, Spirit's going to show you what is not as well. That is law of attraction. That is law as it is. It's going to, if you want to go up in life, it's going to show you where down is. Because for you to see you're going up, you need to know your down is there. So that's why a lot of people, when they get tested or energetically, I want to manifest $10,000. Okay, well, spirit's going to increase the amount of money that you're going to spend <laughs> because you can hold that 10000 right? So don't complain when you got to flow the money down because that feels good too, right? I talk about this in abundance, this whole video on abundance. I'm going to be sharing more videos on that as well, right? So understand one of the biggest expectations of, not expectations, but biggest things to consider is with solar eclipse, it's allowing us to see both sides of the coin, all sides of perspective of life and of our in intentions. It's a new moon. It's about setting new tensions, new beginnings. That's what solar eclipse is about, new beginnings every year. Now we're seeing a drastic focus of that in abundance and in relationships money finance relationships okay not just romantic it can be work look and see where aries places in your chart where pisces places in your chart and this and libra if you can see those things these are what is going to tell you what this eclipse is going to affect you how it's going to affect you the most 
okay keep in mind guys we're also in mercury retrograde until like the 24th of this month right it starts at the beginning of april april 1st until the 24th now i want to let you guys know mercury retrograde isn't something to be scared of take what you see online with a grain of salt mercury retrograde just heard of honk spirits like yep so mercury retrograde is an opportunity for you to step into a higher level of something you just claimed so because this new moon you're claiming these things that you want to bring in to cl bring clarity of problems allow you to know the decisions you know decide what you are manifesting again stepping into that energy the new beginnings the new habits all the things new moon new beginnings and new habits right but you're also understanding the truths that are arising and the things that need to be brought to life and the things that you need to let go still but with that all that melanged in right Keep in mind that spirit is going to show you up and down. They're not going to show you just one. They're going to show you up and down and in between. So ask yourself, why is spirit showing me this? Oh, because I manifested the $10,000 every day that I want to manifest. So of course, spirit's going to give me a little bit more to see how I can handle the money of flow coming in and out. And if this resonates with you, abundance is a big thing. Go check out the top things you need to know about abundance. This video I just posted is going to change your life. Okay. So... Those are all the things that I have to share for the energy update with the solar eclipse before we get into the numerology meaning of this day. Let me know how this was for you. What came up for you? Was there anything that you felt really resonated and helped you out? And let's go into numerology. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually add the day and the month. So January, February, March, April, that's the fourth. I'm going to use a calculator because last time I did it and I think one of you were like, that's the wrong date. Like I'm not, I'm not great with math. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Okay. So let's get the calculator out. So the fourth month, 2024, so we're going to add each of the numbers individually to know the date. And we add nine because it's the ninth day. We get 21. It's a master number. You are mastering decision making on the spot and in pressure. This is going to advance the amount of space that you're going to be holding. That's what this master is. Because you are now accepting what spirit's telling you to make a decision of 21, right? For a lot of you, this is related to something that you've done in many lives before. This is related to your Chiron for some of you. This for a lot of you, Chiron, this is soul work. This is soul healing. This is no joke. Like, I don't even think you understand what is going to ripple and domino effect because you're stepping into the decision making as, as much as you feel it's uncomfortable and you've never done this before, but you've catalyst a huge, huge shift for you. So 21 is a master number and I, it's it's an archangel number. I'm going to see which archangel it is. Um, yeah, it's an archangel number. It's for Michael. <laughs> so Michael, archangel Michael is the angel of like blocks. So anything blocking you, anything that you feel like you're stagnant in, this specific solar eclipse, especially finance and abundance. Oh my gosh, this is so good for you. Something's going to click if you're open to it. Okay. When you surrender and open to it, I just saw a star and some, and some angel dust there. So <laughs> he's present. What that energy is going to bring us to us is to understand that Archangel Michael is calling us to step into asking for help from the masculine archangels and guides, the benevolent archangels that are here that are going to cut the cords and they've already done that last month. And now they're here to hold space for you for what you're going to be doing. They're going to be helping you with the problems. They're going to be moving that before you know it, everything is going to just like shift and you're going to be like, what just happened? Okay. So you are celebrating the aspect that your inner masculine of making decisions has advanced and you've made a huge leap into the masculine relationship within yourself and for those outside of your relationship. You are ready to receive. And when you're ready to receive, that's going to bring a master of lessons that your soul has come here, whatever that area in your life of the solar eclipse is going to ignite that in within your spirit. And it's going to be so easy for you to make decisions around this, this area of your life. Again, practice, right? And remember, spirit's going to show you up and down and in between. So if you ask for up, it's going to show you down right? It's to help you and support you with that, right? Because that's why you find a lot of people, they win a million dollars and they only get up and then they find themselves going really down drastically because they're not accepting that both are equal, 
right? But you choose which one you want to bring in and attract more into your life. But you're also aware that the other aspects of that and the responsibility of holding money, the responsibility of being in a relationship, the responsibility of being a spirit in this life with these life gifts, with these, with these ancestral gifts, with the gifts that you came here to share. And when you do that, you, be, you master something big on this day. So I'm just going to leave it at that because this is a potent one that I just want to share. Let's do a card read. How are we feeling, guys? What are you mastering? What do you call in a master this, this, uh, this solar eclipse? Okay, let's pull a card or two. I'm going to use my wisdom oracle deck because that's what I brought. I felt I was looking, what am I going to bring? My, my, I don't know where I ended because I just <laughs> noticed my, my card said, off so anyways <laughs> my card was like full i'm like now i gotta delete all these old videos that i po that i posted so um i decided to bring the wisdom of the oracle i don't know if i said this already but i'll find out when i edit this and um the wisdom of the oracle is this beautiful card that i have i've had this deck for years and my luggage was heavy so i had to choose one or two decks that's it so i brought this one for sure and i love these ones because they're very clear so Let's breathe into our bodies and really tune into what this solar eclipse is calling us to do during this time. Solar eclipse. And let me know again how you're feeling with this deep message that we've, we've shared here together. I forgot to also mention, and I'm probably gonna put a clip at the beginning of this video, but we have the solar eclipse breath work that's happening on the 9th, which is the day of the solar eclipse at 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern time. And you can register down below early bird it's 33 dollars for a three and a half hour session together and uh, we're going to be tapping into the energies of everything here clearing getting clarity on these decisions getting clarity of what we're stepping into stepping and working with the master um the master uh, number of archangel michael and stepping into that energy so go and sign up i'd love to see you all there i'm gonna be so charged after the portugal retreat so with you guys and to come into the space okay so we have we have the same cards. Okay, so these are all cards I pulled before, whether it was live on TikTok or maybe it was on here with you guys. Um, but it's giving me, keep doing what you're doing, okay? So because Lunar Eclipse is done, doesn't mean that we're not done with the, the, the energies, okay? I wanna just keep in preference to watch the Lunar Eclipse video on Libra Lunar Eclipse because it's all duality. It's all melange together, right? So what I mean by that is, the why, right? You are, this card is now upright. Before when I pulled this before, whether it was on another live recently for Eclipse, it was upside down. So what it's saying is just remember your why to make this decision on the basis of your why. This is a confirmation of yes, moving forward on things. Not yet, not yet. Like I said, wait for Eclipse season to kind of settle down, but remember your why. I wanna also just preference, I only pull out things that really resonate with this reading and we have these angel wings. And this is giving me Archangel Michael's angel wings and he's giving you a book, okay? He's giving you a book of reminders of your why. He's giving you uh, like energy of why, right? He's clearing these blocks and this mind of that you're going in circles and like I almost see like the Tweety Bird and like, you see on when someone hits their head in cartoons and they get like, Whoa. I'm just seeing you like kind of, and then he's just kind of like bringing you back. Okay. So it's also giving me the master number 31. So again, we have Archangel Ariel here balancing the feminine and the masculine. And once again, solar eclipse, sun and moon. We're seeing that once again, look up Archangel Ariel. She's amazing. And she's lioness cat energy. I know some of a lot of you resonate with her. Then we have one eight abundant luck. Okay. So a lot of you are getting this like luck of something. Once you make this decision, spirits like remember, and I talk about this in the abundance money manifesting how to, what I wish I knew before I manifest money video. And this specifically saying you have so much luck with your guides right now. And right now, because you're investing in yourself, you're making the decisions based on a, such a deep intuitive knowing after this eclipse season, spirit's giving you luck because they're like, okay, you're showing up, we're ready, ship all the things. We're giving you all the clarity, we're pushing things. It's gonna happen really quick, right? You're on the speedboat now, mending. So I am seeing with the master number 21 with this solar eclipse in Aries, it's teaching us that we're mending something around our feminine. There's something about the women in our lineage, the feminine are within ourselves. And what this is showing me is you can see there's like angel wings, like fairy wings on there. It's almost like a mother daughter energy, right? 
And what this is showing here is you both are mending. So your ancestors are on the other side, helping you master what you need to, to make this decision and supporting you. Okay. And they are in such support for you. It is beyond words. Like they, they just want to see you rise and be successful. They're here to, to live. They're like, woo, they're so pumped for you. So this is saying that there's some deep mending on a karmic ancestral layer that is supporting you to receive what you're meant to after this decision. Now we have flexibility. Be flexible with your expectations that you have around how you are supposed to live your life, okay? Things don't come the way our mind thinks. Things come the way our heart and our spirit is meant to make it unfold. So our mind has a certain vision of how things are manifested. But how many times, think about something you've manifested. Everything you wrote down in your journal, did it happen word for word exactly that? No. Because it's going to happen the way it's meant to, based on the frequency every day that you are vibrating at. And at that frequency, it's going to show you all sides of that manifestation. So you can hold that in a neutral, peaceful space, right? And it can't be in a space where you're in your ego. It can't be in a space where you don't feel confident in yourself. It's in the middle. It's being both. It's understanding the ego. It's understanding the parts of us that is in humble and gratitude. And it brings us to full receiving. So then it brings us to breathe. So take a breath. When you feel that Aries energy of the migraines and the headaches and the mind and the chatter and the da 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 da, don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Just take a moment. I do this all the time when I'm in a moment and I'm just like, <sighs> and it just all of a sudden I'm like, woo, okay, that was just so much nicer for me to just breathe a little bit. And when you can breathe, you can then understand what you need to clear out in your life with the chop wood and make the decision. Step forward. Okay, we're sweeping some big things here. You got this card right across the mending card, right? So you're sweeping something. The doors are opening for you during this eclipse for you to sweep something in the darkness that needs to come to the light. And once you give it away to earth, you will be recharged with the sun once again to something bigger, something huger that you can, I say bigger, I don't want to put that on a pedestal, but something that you are ready for in a deeper way and you're ready to fully receive it in a different way this time around. Speaking of around, round and round, again, watch that to not go around and around the same circle. But it also is a representation of life that we never lose things, but we rather, we just continue to be eternal, right? Think about it this way. When you break up with someone, it's not that you lose a soulmate. You, you, you go within for the soulmate in you in those lessons, and then you find a new person, right? So it's understanding that relationships are eternal. Finances are eternal. Do you stay broke forever? That was a period of time. You're seeing the blow and then you're gonna go back up and you're gonna see the in-between, right? So it's to understand that everything is not a state. It is eternally, continuously expanding within energies. And when we can accept that and receive that, we're more tuned and aware of where we are in our journey and how to step into a bigger space of what is meant for us. Not what we want, not what we think we need, but rather what is meant for us in our journey right now and what's going to help us with what we're calling in as our birthright. So again, right now, this between two worlds is like you're getting the clarity from what you didn't feel clear on. There's a decision that is going to be made at some point at the solar eclipse that you're going to receive. Hold that decision in your, in your heart and just with making less work, see everything unfold after the eclipse make responsive decisions, right? It's like saying that all of a sudden you start to see jobs within the alignment of what you want to go into, or you want to move to, I don't know, Mexico. And then all of a sudden you're seeing all these cute Airbnbs and you're like, oh, I just want to do it now and book the ticket. Tickets are cheap now. Let me go do it. Okay. Just be with it. Be in that energy. It's happening. Spirit, you're making, showing me it's going to happen. And then when the eclipse energy, when you're in that neutral space, you still have that fire of the Aries, you step and you make that decision. So this is a beautiful card and something that is coming up as an affirmation that I want to end this video on is that when I claim what is my birthright, spirit will show me, ooh, alarm. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's the ambulance. So listen up. So spirit's saying, well, let's just receive that. Thank you. So when I claim what is my birthright, you will show me everything and all things of what it is. Take that in. It is not one thing or the other. 
it is a state of being, but it is, isn't a state of being. Rather, it is an idea and a perspective that I have created, and I am the creator of all that is in my life. So show me, spirit, the sun and the life that I live, but also show me the life of which I need to let go and what things I need to let go of. Allow me to see the weaving of eternal between life and death and all in between and bring me back to the state of peace and being through all the emotions and all that I feel as life is the deepest gratitude and the deepest thing that I can be grateful for. And I thank you for that. I surrender into your arms. I trust every decision, every test you give me. And I see it as an opening for something much bigger that is the great mystery of life. So it is Ashe. That's a journaled, that's, that didn't even journal, that literally channeled through. So let me know what came through. What did you feel receiving that emotionally and energetically in your body? I'm gonna leave you guys with two things. One, we have a breath work on April 9th at 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'd love to see you there. Early registration and energetic exchange is $33. You can go and sign up down below and share with your friends, family. It'd be great to connect with you guys and bring this deep, abundant energy to really support you in whatever way that this eclipse is meant to support you. And I also want to share with you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. This really helps the community and everyone here for us to really, you know, ripple this information in these channel messages to all our loved ones. And we also have the rebirth program that's still open. Courses are down below if you are interested in signing up. There's sacral chakra course, throat chakra, inner child, so much more. And uh, yeah, we have all the other events, retreats. You can check out my website to go look that up. I am so grateful for you. I hope you have a beautiful solar eclipse. And I just saw another angel feather energetically and Archangel Michael just left the space. So thank you for being here. And I will see you guys in the next video with a meditation. I'll be posting out a meditation for you as well to support you during this week. Okay, love you. Happy solar eclipse. Bye.